So uh, good evening everyone, and uh, thank you Natalie, thank you for all of you guys for joining us here. And you know, for some of you, you're a lot like me, you're coming from a place that is much colder than it is here. In fact, when I left home, there was a half inch of fresh snow on the ground. So for those of you that are coming from the colder climates, I hope you can enjoy a couple of days of warm weather, it'll be pretty nice. And for those of you who already come from uh, climates that are warm, uh, I hope you take a couple of days to really recognize the beauty, the culture, and uh, as Natalie talked about, the design elements that you can find here in Puerto Rico. So it brings up really kind of an important question. Why are we here? Why did we choose this location to do this event? Well, you know, Mini is the type of company that when everyone else zigs, we want to zag. And when you think about launching a car in March, you think, well, you know, we have to find a place that has a warm climate. And you think of the usual places. So you got uh, Southern California, you got uh, Arizona, you got Las Vegas. Utah. <laughs> Maybe not Utah. <laughs> Those are great places. And uh, you guys, much like me, have probably been to those places a hundred times. In fact, you could probably recommend uh, a diner or a restaurant to your friends if they were going to go there for a trip. So we wanted to do something just a little bit different. And this offers a great climate, but it also offers some great roads that you're going to get to experience tomorrow. And that's the place that the pacement was designed to be at. It was designed to be on those kinds of roads. And as Natalie already talked about, there's also the whole design element. The pacement is a car that is known for its design. You can see it when you take a look at the car. And here we are in the architectural and design capital of Puerto Rico. And we're right here in this school. So it is a perfect combination, and I can't think of any better place for Lee to talk about the marketing. But before Lee does that, I'll talk a little bit about the business of Mini. And, you know, since 1959, this brand has come a long way. And the U.S. market has been a big part of that since we came in 2002. And, you know, it's amazing to think that after 66,000 sales last year, the U.S. market represents 23% of the world's sales. It's the number one market. It's followed by the UK, which is the home market, followed by Germany, then Italy, then France to round out the top five. And, you know, we think that that's amazing considering the American consumer loves gas-guzzling SUVs. And here this small car has found a place in the U.S. market. And the U.S. market's actually become our number one volume market. Here we are, we're at our 11th anniversary, and the future couldn't be brighter for us. We're here to talk about the launch of our seventh model, and you're gonna to get to experience that. And our management has said that a full lineup of minis in the future could be as many as 10 models. So there's gonna be even more growth for our brand in the future. You know, 2002, we came to this market with the expectation we would sell about 20,000 cars. And as I said, we sold over 66,000 last year. It was a record year for us. So already you're starting to see the growth of the brand here in the U.S. And we're going to see more growth of the dealer network. We have about 115 dealers in operation today. We expect that by the end of 2013, we will have identified 130. So some will be under construction, some will be identified and maybe not open yet, and of course, some will be open. But that's the number that we expect to see by the end of this year. And the U.S. market has the largest community of mini owners. We have 450,000 registered mini owners in the United States. So it's really proof that the world is becoming more mini. The market is really coming to us, and there is an acceptance for our car in the United States. There is an acceptance for small cars. So let me talk a little bit about the success 
of many just over the last year. So 66,123, we were up 15% over 2011, and that was our best year ever. And in fact, throughout the year, we set nine individual sales records during the year, month over month sales records. And we've even started out 2013 with one. January was our best January of all time. So the success continues. Our top selling models, number one is the hardtop. Number two is the countryman. And you can see the hardtop sells about 29,000. The countryman sells about 21,000. And between those two models, that's 75% of our sales. And you know the amazing thing is when you think about product life cycle and you look at the hardtop, it hasn't followed a normal trend that you would expect in the industry. So the typical life cycle curve is you launch a car, the sales increase, and then about the second or third year, you hit the peak, and then the typical life cycle falls in and it drops off until you launch a new car. Well, the hardtop has defied that logic. Yes, we shot up to a peak, but we plateaued. We haven't seen the typical decline that you would see from a life cycle. So it's evidence that the segment is growing. It's evidence that our car has been accepted by the marketplace. So, as I said, we expect continued growth. And uh, 2013, we expect moderate growth. That's going to be driven a bit by the uh, launch of the Paceman, which you guys will see. And we also expect that there will be more competitors in the small car segment. So you've seen it grow over the last few years, even since 2002 when we came to the market, and we expect to see even more competitors in the future. And that's okay, because that is proof that the small car segment is viable, and the more small cars that there are out there, the more people that'll come into our showrooms and cross shop our models. And we're confident that once they get behind the wheel, they're gonna be impressed by the performance of the car. The car's not gonna be for everyone. We know that. There are certain idiosyncrasies to our car. There, uh, you know, it's a quirky brand sometimes. So it's not going to be for everyone. But we believe that there is a segment of people out there that wanna find something that is youthful, something that is fun, something that is feisty. And that's the market that we're after. So as we're here, you're gonna to get to drive the pacemaker. We also have here, and we'll talk a bit about the John Cooper Works GP. You'll also see the club van, which is a niche model for us. And we'll talk a bit about the mini Clubman Bond Street. So you're going to have a full palette of activities, and I hope you guys have a great time.